In the past, you may have entered people on Family Search, probably intending to finish their research and enter a death date, but that last part never happened. Family Search has a newer category called Private People that will help you clean up those people only you can see because they are marked as living. I call this once and done because once you've analyzed private people and marked each of them as deceased, who really are deceased, this will clean out your private people to include only those who are still living. This is the done part. When you navigate to the Family Tree on Family Search, the choices in the drop-down menu are Overview, which has much useful information. This overview is useful to share with a new user and will answer many questions. Tree, which is the Family Search tree. Recents, a list of the 50 most recent people you have viewed. This is also the place you can add an unconnected person. Find. Search for a person, either by name or ID number. Following. People you are watching in case any changes are made. There is a newer way of filtering these people. Click on Options to see how. My Contributions. Changes you have made to Family Search. This section also has a new way of filtering called Options. Private People. These are people added by you and listed as living, therefore making them so only you can see them. More on this in a minute. Family Groups. Groups created by you or those you are a part of. Back to Private People. I have seen some users of Family Search who had more than 300 people listed as private people, some with birth dates going back into the 1700s. This newer feature will help you identify, finish research, and get these people marked as deceased. Another reason I call this once and done is that Family Search has recently changed its parameters and will not let you enter anyone who was born more than 110 years ago as living. That is no longer an option. This will prevent this problem going forward. We will focus on private people. First, why should you care? If we are striving for accuracy, this is one relatively simple place to clean up errors. On the right side, is an options box. Click and filter by date of birth and ascending. Now take the opportunity to review the people in the list. It is probably safe to mark anyone who was born more than 110 years ago as deceased, although it would be preferable to do a little research on each one and find a death date. This person was born more than 110 years ago. There are a couple of research suggestions that will easily verify that this is the same person and that she is deceased. Enter the death date along with the source. This may be viewed as a cleanup project. Once you have cleaned up this data, it will not need to be done again only to check on people newly deceased. We do the same with the second research help and find it gives an exact death date. Once attached, we have the exact day and this person no longer appears on our private people list and we have added a couple of sources for this person. This leads to one more thing that must be done. Since you had one of these people marked as living, which meant only you could see them, there may be a duplicate of the same person correctly identified as deceased. Merge any duplicates and you are finished.
Once I did some basic research for a person listed as living, I found her death and burial record. I then found a duplicate entry for her and merged the two records. Family Search has a new reason for merging. It says Family Search found no significant inconsistencies. They also are helping to make the family tree more accurate. Family Search has added some features to help prevent and resolve the problem of living people. First, you cannot add anyone with a birth date more than 110 years ago. Second, you are asked if this person really is deceased. It helps to have a death certificate or other reliable source to validate this step. Third, in merging, Family Search gives a warning if there have been several merges of the same person. This gives you time to consider the sources and identity of the person before you make the merge. Please take the time to use this new feature on Family Search to clean up private people, those only you can see because they have mistakenly been marked as living or have passed away since you entered them the first time. Thanks for watching.